Hello everyone and welcome once again to Scorpion Cigar Reviews and welcome to another installment of my 2015 Cigar of the Year uh, candidacy, whatever you want to call it. This time I will be smoking the Gurkha Royal Challenge Maduro Toro. This is a 6x50 cigar. It has a yeah, broadleaf Maduro wrapper, Honduran Habano binder, and Nicaraguan and Dominican fillers. Retails for about $8.75. It um, has a very dark Maduro wrapper. Firm pack, maybe a little bit too firm. It has some pretty hard spots in it. Nice wrapper feel, very oily. Typical Maduro leaf seems very robust. Not at all brittle. It's definitely not, you know, buttery soft or supple like some of the other, um, like, like a Connecticut shade would be or something like that. Definitely a very, feels like a tough wrapper. Has a, a, it's got a decent amount of veins. Not, you know, not terrible, but there's definitely some veins there. Um, seams could be a little bit tighter. Uh, for the most part, they're not bad, but there are the, a little bit where it uh, seems to be not, not as tight of a seam as it could otherwise be. This has two bands. It has your, your typical beautiful Gurkha shoulder band and then it has a secondary band saying that it's the Royal Challenge. Feels really nice. I just can't get over how nice that wrapper leaf feels. Alright. Oh, it definitely smells of sweet tobacco on the wrapper. Hints of barnyard in there too. Definitely. The foot cocoa. Oh, there's a lot going on on the foot. Some kitchen spices. Well, I tell you, that, that initial scent I got just overwhelmed my sense of smell so much that it just kind of washed everything else out, and now it's just, it's just drowned everything out tell instantly that there was a lot going on, but it just, it just killed my senses. It was so powerful, just such a, a rich, deep, thick scent that I almost instantly lost touch with the other scents that were there. Some leather way in the back. Okay. has a fairly decent weight to the cigar, and maybe slightly on the lightweight side, but not too terribly bad. Since this is part of the 2015 Cigar of the Year Challenge, um, I will be keeping all aspects as close to the same as I possibly can. Um, using the same cutter, once again, I'll be using my Zycar, do a straight guillotine cut. Pretty light draw, definitely some leather. Hints, very subtle hints of uh, some barnyard in there. It's 
something else. All right. Using my Alec Bradley tea kettle lighter, as I have with all the reviews in the Cigar of the Year Challenge. A little windier than I thought. I didn't think there was really any wind at all, but when it blows your flame around, then you know there's wind. Even a small amount of wind can make it difficult to get a good light on a cigar. I don't really feel much wind myself, but you see that flame just being blown all around. Kind of whipped back and forth, so I'm not getting a good steady flow of heat directed exactly where I want it. Okay. I've had this trouble with several of these Gurkhas um, where I really didn't cut off an excessive amount of the cap. In fact, this draws a little bit, a little bit snug for me, yet it's unraveling. So I'm just going to have to take care with that, but of course that will um, influence the uh, overall score as far as um, you know, construction issues. Well, this isn't a big deal. See what happens if it just starts blowing apart. Then yeah, then it does become a big deal. But just see what happens. Good bit of spice. Not really a pepper, but it's um, not like table pepper. But it's it's definitely spicy, kind of um, like a Cajun. No, not really a Cajun spice, but it's hot. It's more than just more than just um, black pepper. Good punch of pepper to the retro ale. Smokes a little bit dry. All right, I'm going to continue smoking this. I'm going to come back somewhere in the first third. See you in a bit. Here we are about 20 minutes in, just starting, starting the first third. I had maybe about a half inch or so worth of ash and it fell off in a big hard chunk um, and now it's burning kind of uneven as you can see. There's a lot of band to this cigar. I'm going to go ahead and at least remove the secondary band for now. Came off nicely. And I tell you, I've smoked a couple of these Gurkha Royal Challenge Maduros recently here. This is actually a uh, fairly new entry into 
the running of my cigar for the year 2015. And the first one I absolutely loved. And I decided it was good enough to at least give it another shot and see if I wanted to enter it in my 2015 Cigar of the Year category. So I picked up a few more. The next one I liked. So I said, yeah, two in a row. Um, go ahead and put it in, in the uh, candidacy for the Cigar of the Year. This sample, however, isn't pleasing me the way that the others did. It could be that it's not going as well with my Chaos Mountain Mad Hopper as, uh, as maybe uh, something else would have. Um, the other two samples that I had smoked, I was drinking a bourbon, if I remember correctly. Yes, it was a bourbon I was drinking. And the bourbon went really well with the cigar, so I may go ahead and change up um, just so that this cigar can be all that it, it really can be. Anyway, um, nothing, nothing really um, impressive about this first third which is really disappointing because I've really enjoyed this cigar in the past and what I'm getting from this now I would think why would I ever enter this into the cigar of the year category but it just might not be going with this hoppy beer there's really not much going on There's a little something. It's almost floral in character on the finish. I have to think about that. Okay, I'm going to continue smoking this cigar, and uh, in the meantime, I think I'm going to go grab a nice bourbon that uh, has in the past paired very well with the cigar. Maybe I can get some better flavors to come through, get this cigar to really shine, and have it be a true contender in my 2015 Cigar of the Year run-up, running. All right, see you in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the shoulder band as I'm rapidly approaching it. Now this is a, a fairly large band, so and it's kind of far down, as you can see, it's, you know, an inch and a half from, from the head of the cigar. Wrapper came off pretty nicely. So, with that, five out of five points for, for the label. It's a very attractive label. So I, I tried to increase the benefits of the cigar by switching to a, a sweet bourbon. And then I've counteracted that by sampling 
this, this candy mix that she was making. So I'm right back to square one. Now that said, I'll probably buy several more of these cigars. And perhaps do a future review. This may just not be a real good sample. Now with that part of the review process measures consistency within a brand, within a blend, within a brand actually. So if my other outside influences, uh, what I'm drinking, what I'm eating, don't go well with the cigar, or if the cigar itself simply uh, isn't consistent, then yeah, that will affect the score, so. Here we are in the second third. If you really look for it, you can find a very subtle leather character way in the back, way, and not, not in the back of the palate, but it's kind of hidden. So there is some leather in there. Smoke is dry. And honestly, At this point, the scar isn't scoring very well, which is a shame because the uh, the other samplings of the cigar that I've had in the past, I really, really enjoyed. I'm just not enjoying it that much right now, and it could just be my mood. Um, all kinds of things influence uh, what you pick pick up from a cigar. It's late, kind of tired, been up late last several days you know, doing these cigar reviews and I had even considered not doing one for review tonight just because of the fact that um, being tired my experience would be negatively impacted I had really hoped that this cigar would have overcome that, but it hasn't. Now, a truly phenomenal cigar would overcome that, you would think. But as I've said in many of my reviews, there's just so many outside influences that can affect the overall experience. I'm not going to dismiss this cigar as being problematic uh, as far as the flavor profile just not being up to par. I'm going to have to do another review. I'll continue doing this review, but I'll have to do another sampling of this for the Cigar of the Year. Uh, candidacy. Rear of the palate, there is a good, um, although short lived, there's a short blast, kind of potent pepper note. Quickly followed by very dry mouth feel. Yeah. All right, I'm going to continue smoking this and I'll come back somewhere in the final third. See you in a bit.
Here we are, about an hour in. We're in the final third. I've managed to uh, pretty much wash away everything that was coated in my mouth from sampling the, the mixture from the candy my wife was making. I'm getting more of the flavors of the cigar and the whiskey again. The um, <clears throat> the arrival is that of like a grilled meat. It's very pleasant. There's a kind of a pungent peppery note in there. Uh, pretty interesting, really. And there's a soft, a very subtle, soft. Um, leather finish. Yeah. Now the other thing I'm noting is that I'm left uh, the very relaxed feeling, almost almost a feeling of being high. Um, now that could be a, a combination of, of things. Um, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm kind of tired, been up late lately stayed up late and got up early several days in a row so I've been tired um, didn't have a whole lot to eat today not a whole lot of sustenance nothing heavy um, a light breakfast light lunch very light dinner um, and then the uh, the alcohol and the nicotine in the cigar um, can leave you feeling as though you're uh, slightly drugged. Um, so it could be that. Uh, chances are that's what this is. I have had some cigars that uh, were very strong, uh, very high nicotine content. And although they were produced very well to where you didn't get that that, that nicotine heavy or burn or whatever I'm not getting that I'm just getting the feel of um, what the nicotine does um, to relax the body distorts your um, perception of reality uh, to some degree um, so that could very well be what this is uh, as well, it could be the nicotine, um, but I've had other samplings of this cigar that didn't do that. So I think it's the combination of everything throughout the day, um, where I've been left kind of drained. So that would negatively impact my smoking experience as far as getting a true feel for what the cigar has to offer. It's a decent cigar. I'm happy with the cigar itself. The flavor pro profile, pro the flavor profile, I said, um, it's very subtle. Um, even when it seemed to have a, a bit of a, a burst of flavor, it was very short-lived. Um, so yeah, it's uh, something that you have to um, really think about and see what what the characteristics of the cigar really are. So I'm going to continue smoking this. I'm going to come back in the nub with my final thoughts and impressions and, uh, and my score. All right, see you in a bit. So here I am about uh, an hour and 20 minutes in. I'm in the nub. a good um, kind of a medium pepper um, note a little bit of a blast it's not real strong but a good good medium pepper blast on the retro hail some subtle grilled meat notes a 
overall a very good cigar. I'm pleased in general. So I thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. I'll catch you next time.